Loads of people would like to go on holiday in a motorhome, but not everyone is lucky enough to own one. So what do you do? Well, you can rent one, or better still, you can borrow one. And I've met somebody who's done just that. Mark Yavorsky. Mark. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry to disturb you, That's but all right, no let's worries. have a little chat. Do you mind if I sit yeah, down? Yeah, please. So, who have you borrowed it from? I've been uh, very graciously uh, lent this by my father-in-law, Alex, and his wife, Caroline. They, uh, and they're keen motorhomers? Yeah, they go away all the time, yeah. Have you been in a motorhome before? No, no, first time this week with my really? daughter. <laughs> so you've never driven one? No. Ever actually been inside one? Uh, I've been inside this one because he, he's, he's, he's had it and I've, I've had a look inside, but that's, that's as far as it, as it got, yeah. Right, well, I'm going to test your knowledge of motorhoming. What sort of motorhome is this? What and model is it? I know it's an auto trail because and? it's written on the front and that's all I know. Yeah, and what kind of auto trail is it? What make? What model? I couldn't tell you that, I'm sorry. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> yeah. Mark, I'm going to tell you now, it's an Apache. An Apache. And that's really good. <laughs> I want to have a look inside and let you show me around. Is that OK? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. Hey, let's go. <laughs> do you mind me asking what you do for a living, Mark? Uh, I'm in the armed forces. What exactly do you do? Uh, I'm in a household cavalry regiment. Oh, wow. So you ride horses and operate tanks as well? Yeah. So you're accustomed to driving a larger vehicle? It would be if our tanks were as, as big as this, but they're not, they're quite small. They're about the size of my car. So. <laughs> and how have you been getting on with driving this it, it was, I was scared. I was going to, to be honest, I was really nervous at first where, when we borrowed it off my father-in-law, but um, I thought it was going to be a bit of a nightmare being so big. But he took me for a little familiarisation drive and it was lovely to drive. It's so light and it just yeah. sort of... The gear changing is amazing, it really is good. It's really nice, it's spacious inside, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's big enough for, for me and my daughter, that's for sure. How are you getting on with actually living in it? It's great, isn't it? It's is just, it comfortable? Yeah, it's just like, a, it's just like having your it's front just, room, but in, it, just in a like, wood. I just love sitting in motorhome. it's just like being at home, it's so relaxing. Yeah, it really is comfy, really, really nice. Have you slept well? Every, like a log every night, without a doubt. <laughs> really? Yeah. And you too? We're not getting up to like... 9.30, so we really are, we really are sleeping well, yeah. Oh, that's superb. Now, how have you get, got on with the actual bits and pieces in the motorhome? Because obviously, things are a little different. Yeah. Did you manage to hook up to the mains power okay? Yeah, we did that all right. The, the, when, we, when we got it, the gentleman brought us in and he showed us how to do everything, which is a bonus for me, because obviously I'm a novice and I don't know what I'm doing. And what about cooking? Have you been doing cooking at all? Barbecues, we, barbe we love barbecuing, so we barbecue every night. And so I don't want to get my father-in-law's Oven dirty. Oh, fair enough. But the great thing is, you don't have to go very far to have a lot of fun. How far have you come? Uh, from Windsor. So what? Less than 100 miles, 50, yeah, 60 yeah. miles. Hour and off. Yeah, and it's just like it's just the same as going somewhere exotic. Yeah, it's beautiful. Excellent. Well, Mark, you've clearly had a great time in your first motorhoming experience. I'm going to go now, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your stay.